Hello everyone and welcome back to Genjoy Plants. Today I have a fall haul for you and I have several different video clips of packages and happy mail that I have gotten over the past couple weeks in preparation for fall. So let's get started. Okay, the first package I got is from Wonton in a Million, and as you can see, it is her back to school collection, and it's so cute. So, it was my first time ordering, but crazy fast shipping, literally within a week. I was so surprised. Um, so, this is a little menu card, meet the dim sum steam team. And it has all of her little characters and cute descriptions of the mall. And I just really love that, especially with being my first time shopping at Wonton in a Million. I do have one of her, like, Michael sticker books, but um, obviously those are completely different because those aren't the same quality as the sticker shop since those are, like, crazy mass-produced. Uh, so... And I didn't know any of her character names, really. So, as being a first-time shopper, I really appreciated this. And now I understand the characters that I'm using. And I just think that's really cute. But I'm, all, like, absolutely keeping this card because of the little cram box. She had different things. I think, like, pouches and even, like, name tags, I want to say, where you write like a name right there but um some of them were sold out and some of them just didn't spark joy in me i don't know what the right word would be just wasn't for me but um here are the few things i ordered like i said this is a super small order so here is the little freebie and this is suey i think i'm saying it right and it gives four little character stickers and then little, like, you can actually use these as stickers as well. I personally wouldn't, but you could. Um, and they're just little, like, talking bubbles, essentially. So, that's a cute little sampler. I really, really love her paper. I have no idea how to describe it, but obviously, since I only know Wonton and a Million stuff from Michaels, it's a completely different feel and obviously way better um but super great so the main reason i got it was for this sheet right here and it is the online learning little teacher or student and it has um five different characters in the little books in the background and i just thought it was so cute my plan for this was to well here let me show you the next item and then i'll show you tell you my plan then this was the crayon headers, so each one is a little header, and ugh, they are so vibrant and just so dang cute. So, like I said, my plan for this was, I already kind of peeled this up, so I don't mind doing it again. But to mark school and teaching, I think I'm just going to put one of these in the middle of a header, and then it'll just kind of sit there to mark my day. So there's no actual script but obviously I will know and I just think it's a really cute way to mark school and a just different way to mark school um, and teaching. So I'm really, really excited about those. And then when I was kind of browsing through her site, I saw that she had a um, collab with Sim Simply Gilded and I know this might be shocking and hard to hear, but I don't have any Simply Gilded washi. Eee! I've looked, I've put it in my cart, and then I've chickened out. I just don't always need that much, and I'm new to like the coiled planning. Like I used to do more of like smaller bitty kits or V6 or whatever the different wording would be. So. I didn't always need a ton of washi, but I thought that these colors were really, they would go with a lot of things. So I was really happy with it. So I kind of swatched, so obviously this is Simply Gilded, and this was an Oops washi bundle. So I already took it out of its packaging because I have no chill, and I already kind of swatched them. So I'll show you the Simply Gilded. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, maybe so slightly. 
there is some like what is it called ghosting of the bows through but I see it it doesn't bug me because of the like watercolor from orange to yellow I'm not gonna lie seeing it from here I thought maybe it'd be more vibrant and it's a lot more pastel but I do like it because the I think it's more of like an orange hollow and that definitely pops out oh I think you can kind of see it here okay and then the wonton in a million washi is this white with the pink gradient and the hollow sparkle confetti and I just I just thought they were really different but also very usable so I'm really excited hopefully I can pull the simply gilded one into some fall collections and then I already know some spreads in January and February that this would look great with so I'm really excited about that so really small order next up is a glam planner and as you know I'm a big big fan but I try to kind of like batch my orders together but this one I was like I can't afford for this to sell out and not get it so as everybody is releasing their Halloween kits, again, don't come for me. Please don't come for me. I'm not a Halloween person at all. Um, I've never, like even as a kid, I hated dressing up. My mom had to force me. Um, yeah, so I'm not crazy into Halloween. I hate scary movies. I can barely do action movies without getting terrified and um i just wanted like a cute at home kit so when glam planner released this it definitely has some like of the spooky halloween elements but it is just gorgeous colors and patterns and all about being just at home which i feel like is what i do halloween night so um how do i want to do this i'll go through the kit but i did buy one extra I bought the double box, so I'll pull that out. So I just got the mini kit, and I'll go through. These are the full boxes. Those cookies, those were my childhood for like every holiday. So cute. All the details. I love the stack of books, everything. Then I love, I thought it was more of a burgundy color, but it's more of like a brown and I really like it. I love that darker, but uh, darker orange. And I just like that like burgundy brown color. I think everything goes together so well without being too dark. I also love this, these two washies. Ugh, I'm not a huge fan of this. So trying to decide what I wanna do there, if I wanna put an overlay or what, but that is a problem for another time. So that was the, what did she call it? Oh, she named it Stop In For A Spell. So kind of gives it that witchy vibes. I believe it's still in her shop if you wanted to pick it up. But that was that. I'm just going to pull out really quick the double box scene. Oh, I, this is such a dream home. And I do now see that the bottom washi kind of pulls in the sky. I see, I see what she was doing. I don't know. I got this because one, it's just a gorgeous home. And two, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this cat. I'm not a cat person either. Wow, I'm just confessing all the things. But yeah, I'm not a cat person, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to use that. But I do, I adore orange. It's my favorite color. So I don't know if I want to keep the cat in because it's so cute in the little pumpkin and it's that bright orange. So I don't know. I guess that kind of piggybacks. I also got one of her double box, um, what would it be, an extender? So I might use that for this kit might not you'll have to come back and see anyway stop in for a spell glam planner there we go okay the next thing i got was this really cute um teeny and bop walking obviously teeny's little girl character 
Bop is her sidekick who is not featured here. And they are just little walking girls um, for me going on walks or runs or something. I just thought it was cute. And then the next thing I got is going to be, it's not Franken planning because it's all one kit collection, but I'm definitely making this my own version. So this is her Cider Lane kit, and I do believe that all kit formats are sold out of this when I checked this morning. I'm obsessed with Cider Lane. I used this last year, and for my birthday week in November, because the colors, look at the colors. They are so fall, but so vibrant. And that hedgehog, I mean, come on. So I wanted to get, I got the bitty kit, which is obviously just these two pages. And it comes with four full boxes. I did not like the bottom washi page at all. Of the mini kit and I didn't like the full boxes were cute but not I don't know these like these were the ones I really wanted so I decided to get the washi add-on and then I have a washi 15 millimeter washi from um, one of the SPC grab bags in this shade. I knew the shade. I referenced it back from my old last year's planner and it's spot on and I already have my vision for it. So I got that and I already knew I had that. And then I got the double box scene, which is just gorgeous. I did not have this last year and I wasn't sure how the burgundy would pull in, but the bright orange pumpkins, I literally can't cannot get over how gorgeous they are and then she had a like, extra boxes and it's just carving pumpkin and pumpkin spice latte which I don't really drink but I love me some coffee and I just thought that kind of gives me my still like eight boxes so one two three four five six and then this would be seven eight since it goes over basically two so you can kind of see how I am making it my own, but I think it will still work. And there's still plenty of full boxes and stuff. And since this double box will take up more room, like I'm, I'm good to go. So that is it for all of the things that I got from both Glam Planner and Wonton in a Million. Hello everyone. So I'm filming another section of my fall haul and I just have two things. I have a CD stickers grab bag and a small order from Caress Press. So I'm going to zoom you in and get started. Okay, I have a grab bag from CD stickers and she did this Let's see, when I'm filming this, what was it, the beginning of September, and it shipped out within two weeks, which is pretty awesome, and I think I paid $13 for a grab bag, and she said there would be pieces of a B6 kit or something, I don't know, I'm not familiar really with her kits, because I'm not a, this kind of kit fan, um, and then a lot of $2 Tuesdays. So that is why I bought it was for all this because she always has the cutest $2 Tuesdays, but I can never decide like what I want or I don't know. Sometimes I just am indecisive and I don't end up purchasing. So I don't have all the things. So I was really, really excited about this grab bag and I will tell you up front cause I already peeked through it. I will 1000% be doing this again. Like if she throws up grab bags again, any point of the year, boom, done, in cart, sold. So I was really, really happy with this. I just realized I'm gonna go over actually the freebies first. So I'm a part of her Facebook group and she's just so generous. So she included a B-Day sale because it was her birthday and she included this gold and two full box overlays. So I'm not like a huge fan of the, oh my goodness, I saw that was so deceiving. Oh my goodness. I totally, I see 
kind of now those are all headers. <sighs> that makes so much more sense because I was like, those are two different sizes. Okay, I'm rewind. Full box overlay and headers. Okay, I like this so much more. <laughs> it was really cute in the first place and it's not that I didn't like it, but I just got tricked. So anyways, it was her birthday sale. So that's the freebie from that. Longest freebie explanation ever. Then I put in Tattoo Teacher Plan Taylor's code and got her freebie because I just love all her little decorative accents and the simplicity of this full box overlay. So cute and gold. And then I'm a part of her Facebook group and she said if you mentioned Ollie in the codes you would get a special freebie and this was it. It's like a muted pinky, a little bit of purple undertones paper with the same kind of bow accents and her lace for some boxes and I love that. I absolutely love that. So that was crazy generous for three freebies. Okay, so the goodness. Okay, let's get started on what is inside the grab bag. So the first thing is this galaxy splatter paint with a silver foil and it's just a little box sampler with her classic bows. Adorable. I'm super excited to use it. I think I have some winter kits that this would be perfect with. Then a hollow box sampler. Oh, so gorgeous. So useful. Then a rose gold little accent. There's her rose gold. I love her rose gold. I'm not a fan of the pinky rose gold. So this is super exciting, especially since I have a lot of fall kits that I'm using rose gold, that this will be a fun, like, decorative way to plan. Wow, this hollow is coming through. I have lots of hollow things. So a bow cleaning spray in hollow. Some bat date covers in hollow. Ooh, look at that rainbow. So I am not a Halloween person, but I kind of dig the bat in hollow. I think it's going to look really, really cool. So I was actually really excited for that out of all the Halloween items to get. Then I got some hollow little deco accents, which, oh, so excited. I've been wanting to get something like this. Then I got a silver tie-dye, and these are header, I don't know if you can tell, like header overlays. Now, I don't want to take it off too much. I kind of have a problem with header overlays. I kind of think they're pointless. Don't, don't come after me, but like... Sometimes it can just add too much. So I feel like this has to be done really tastefully because it looks really pretty on like this paper and with the foil the way it is. But it could look maybe a little weird and chaotic. I don't know. I'm going to have to find the right fit for that one. And then this was the second Halloween item. Ooh, sorry to blind you guys. So it's rose gold. And I believe it's like a witch print, witch spider print. Not crazy about it, but I will probably try to still use it. And then some marble header overlays. Oops, not overlays. They're just headers. And they're her like scallop print with rose gold. I think they're really pretty. Then some decorative dots with hollow love these summer colors so I might have to save those for next summer then her wood print oh this was so gorgeous this was one of the two dollar Tuesdays yeah. that I could not decide what to buy so I just ended up getting scared and not buying anything so I was excited for this then some more marble print but this one is in silver the other one was rose gold and this is her what does she call it her accents like her hexagons, flags, I don't know, it's hard to see, I can't really show you the cut lines, but she has assortment of things. Then some bigger hexagons in that, it's different than her sampler, but they kind of look the same. The hexagons are a little bit more purple mauve -y. 
script, so that will be really fun. Then some more hollow accents for little doctors with a bow. Stethoscope, I should say. Then this is hot pink magenta header overlays. And I know I made a comment <laughs> with the tie-dye about my ish with header overlays, but in a fun foil like this, it I think will be actually really cool. So I'm excited about that. Then I got some simple silver flourishes, which oh, they're so dainty and gorgeous. Then some more header samplers. I'm guessing this is from one of her kits. So it's like a pinkish tie-dye with white and then solid pink and then solid like a light mint green and then the mint green tie-dye. We'll zoom it out. And this is foiled in rose gold. So this is really, really light. You can kind of see. So that will have to be matched with the perfect kit. And then this was the date sampler that I got. And it is her tie-dye. I believe it was her pastel tie-dye. And it has gold foil. So really, really fun. Probably will have to save it till spring or summer. Then some leopard full prox overlays in rose gold. Definitely going to bring this out for fall spreads. Then her silver overlays. And I love the simplicity. Oh, there's the silver. And then I got two washi overlays. One is in this gorgeous blue. Is it picking up? Kind of. Oof. It's like a dark, there we go, royal blue. So fun and unique. And then this B print, and it's in like a golden hollow. So that is really fun too. And you get these like little B deco. So cute. Okay. And then I got three pages from random kits. So I don't use photography kits like this that's just not my personal style so part of me is excited to get some versions for free not for free because i paid for the grab bag but for a good discount and like at random so maybe i might play around with it later but for right now i don't exactly know what to do with these full boxes so i don't know maybe i'll incorporate them in on my monthly spreads or I just, I don't know, maybe I'll just stash them away for a rainy day and hoard them. Um, I was kind of hoping to get a grab bag page, like one of these full pages that had date covers, like the tie-dye or like that, because I feel like, although I wouldn't use the page, I would use those. But that's okay. Like I said, maybe it's a way to push myself outside the box. So this one is called Linen, and it's really neutral. Just, it's really, really pretty. Sadie Stickers is, her kits are so well done, but again, just not my style. I like more clip art. So it is foiled, almost like a dusting of bow and sparkle and gold foil. And then this kit is called Simple, and it is also in gold, but it has more of like the accents in gold so I could see myself if I was going to use a photography kit I'll probably use the simple not the linen and I love the touches of green so maybe in March catch me back in March and see if I explored and branched out but yeah fun and different and that's what I like about grab bags gives you a different variety and pushes you kind of outside your comfort zone and you might like things you didn't know you would like. And then this is a monthly kit for June, which I do not use these, but I will use the accents and other things. And it is in gold. So I will find a way to kind of break it apart. And that's, I'm guessing, in PP weeks. I'm not sure. But that was my CD stickers grab bag. Like I said, overall, 10 out of 10. I would give it a higher rating. I will 100% be doing this again. I love it. 
I love Sadie stickers. I love all her stuff. Amazing, amazing. Okay, next thing. Okay, now I'm going to go through my Caress Press order, which shout out to Caress Press because it was literally less than a week when I placed the order and it was in my mailbox. Less than a week, people. That's insane. Kudos to her and whoever helps her <laughs> because it's just amazing. So I got two of her overlay tapes, which after purchasing, she released that it, um, that she was restocking. Like she didn't tell people she was restocking. She was like, oh, restock's coming this week. Um, like on, what was it? Sunday night. And this had been in my mailbox on like Thursday. Anyway, so I've been sitting on this for a really long time. Hence why I got hollow and rose gold. But I will eventually pick up gold and silver as well since I am just expanding my foil collection and my bottom washi collection. But I love the idea of perforated uh, washi overlays. Just, just a genius. I know everybody else has raved about it, so I will not be that person. But I did sample it quickly for you. So for the hollow one, it's just the star print, which I love, and I would get that again. And then for rose gold, it's the bow. And I was a little worried that her rose gold would be like her rose gold that she does for her samplers and her date dots and stuff, but it's not, thank goodness. It's more of the copper tone, which I love. So this is just what was in stock. <laughs> there was only like, this was, Hollow was the only one that was left in this, like pixie. And then Rose Gold was the only one left in the bow when I purchased. But again, they are now restocked. She says she has a lot, but I highly recommend ordering early because they do run out. I'm really, really excited though. Okay, then I ordered... I love her date dots. I got the Misfit date dots in rose gold, silver, and gold. And I don't know why I didn't get hollow. I think I thought I had an abundance, but I'm missing so many numbers that it's not a full collection. But this is another set of her Misfit. So the Misfit, if you didn't know, is that there's a double 28, which I don't care. I don't think most people care, but this was a dollar for four sets of hollow date dots. Yes, please. What a steal. Then her freebie, she changed it and it's so cute. I love her font. It's in her rose gold, which sometimes it's nice to have this pinky rose gold. So overlay, crest press, happy mail, adorable. Netflix binge, so applicable. Order groceries, which I love, and laundry. And some really cute icons. I love the detail of even like the Netflix in the TV and the little heart in the box in the shopping cart. Ugh, it's all in the details, people. Beautiful. So usable. Then I got my Thanksgiving kit from her and this is called Thankful. And this art by Kanish Girl Jess is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I hadn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do for my Thanksgiving kit and I was looking around at all the different like shops and how they were doing this and a lot of kits were kind of similar and I ended up settling on Crest Press because I, I don't know, I just kind of loved her color scheme I guess I should say is what I love the most. Some color schemes were a little too white for me. Okay, I got cut off. But what I, what I was saying was that 
a lot of the people kind of arranged the art. A lot of shops arranged the art pretty similar. Like everybody had these two gorgeous fashion girls, the double box, the shoe, or the flat lay, some scene of the kitchen and the pie. But what I really loved is her color scheme. And I like that she went with this like burgundy brown color along with the kind of, I don't even know what shade this would be. Is it like rust? It's not orange, it's not tan. It's, I don't know, gorgeous? <laughs> and then this shade of green. And then I liked that her gray, it was still noticeable. And more of like a gray beige. So that's kind of where I was coming from was the color scheme. I really, really, really wanted to find a full box with the booties. Ugh. It was kind of heartbreaking to give that one up. But I was debating debating between this one and the Scribble Prince because Scribble Prince Co. had a booty full box. But again, I'm not a fan of white or like having two light colors. Like it's one thing if you have one light color, but to have two light colors, that is kind of like a negotiable, non-negotiable thing. Like I just, it's not worth the money for me. Anyways, you have all seen this gorgeous art. I don't need to speak more about it because it's perfect. Again, colors. I love, I get her mini kit and I love that it comes with glitter headers. I only use three sets. So I will be using these three colors. And I haven't really used brown, so I'm so excited. And I think since a lot of the full boxes are very um, light color base, like there's a lot of light colors, I think having those three colors as the main and the glitter header options are gonna help pull it together. Then her adorable boxes. I love that she gives pattern ones along with solid print. And her functional. Did I already say I got a mini kit? I don't remember. And then this bottom washi is everything. Loved it. Loved that it was in green too. And then this extra full box. And then it also came, there it is, with a bonus. She's so generous. Super duper cute. So I haven't decided which full boxes I'm using yet. But that was my little small caress press order. And I'm obsessed.